Hey, you, look at me. Busted bullets one through three, but I still wanna get back in there. I tried hard to play GTO, but somehow I still busted. So let me tell you, I lost it all. Pocket jacks, two aces, I'm sorry I'm not perfect. 2080 all in, why can't I win? Come on, suck out one time. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's all I got. Who is the most famous person in your contact list? Without a doubt, Chaos Kobe Covington. Shaquille O'Neal. Ooh. That's a great question. Uh, I would say Ryan DePaulo. That's a tough one. Oh, Scott Hansen. I have no idea. Oof, who is my famous person in my contact list? Well, uh, I have a player of Argentina national football team. Oh, are you allowed to disclose who? <laughs> He's a friend from when I was young. Can you say who? He's Enzo Fernandez. He's, uh... Put up one famous person, who would it be? Anyone but Ryan DePaulo. <laughs> person in your contact list. Wow. Uh, maybe... My God. David Baker. Oh, nice answer. Yeah. And if you could have one famous person in your contact list, who would it be? Uh, I probably can't answer that because my wife might watch this video. Any famous on my phone? Let me see. No. When I'm here, Daniel Negreanu, of course. He's nice, he's fun. I for sure we have fun there with him. Alive or dead? Both. I'd go with... Uh... Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah, there are, there are, there are a few, there are a few. Uh, I don't know, maybe Black Coffee, the DJ, maybe. Nice, I like that. <laughs> and if you could have one famous person in your contact list, who would it be? Uh, Elon Musk. Okay. Solid answer. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could have one famous person in your contact list, who would it be? Tiger Woods. Oh, nice answer. Yeah, that's up. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm here with Angela Jorgensen. Angela, we've been hearing a bit about what you have done for uh, some, a few lucky players. Can you tell us a bit about it? Well, um, I started, it kind of started just off the cusp when I played with a guy that I just really liked and so I decided to put him in the Salute to Warriors. And then my friend and I were talking and we knew that we could use our platforms to maybe raise more and hopefully put in five. And it ended up growing and we ended up actually turning money away and capping it at 15. Um, so we have 15 going into the Salute to Warriors and then I've done some other fundraising for the team event and for the ladies event. It's kind of became addicting almost. And how did you decide who got the seats? We did a Twitter contest and ran it on Facebook and Twitter and just asked them to tell us what poker or what the WSOP meant to them and why we should choose them. Uh, we just wanted really compelling stories and wanted a group of individuals that represented all branches. It is geared towards military. A uh, percentage of the prize pool goes to veteran causes. And so it was a perfect combination to take veterans that have served. Um, a lot of them have served multiple tours in um, Afghanistan or Vietnam, and some of them are generations of service. And so it was a good combination and a great mix. Uh, to bring together and I'm, we're really excited. I am with Miles Barnum. We had an interview with you last year with your father. Yes. So can you kind of give me a little bit of a background of uh, what your story is? Sure, so last December, my dad came out to Vegas for the first time to sweat me in a tournament and he hadn't been to Vegas before. So he, uh, for three days, he sweated me in the WPT to get my first 10K cash and it was a really cool experience. My dad was a Marine and I think a lot of what I've learned in my life just about dedication and hard work comes from my dad and my family. My, my mom's father was a prisoner of war in World War II, captured in the Battle of the Bulge. And so, um, you know, I just have a lot of honor and respect for veterans and, and I believe that I am who I am today because my dad, you know, he was a he was a Marine and he, you know, he had discipline and hard work and, and he instilled that to myself and my sister. There is something you want to do right now. 
Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna call my dad because I have some news to share with him, so. So let's give dad a call. Let's give dad a call. Hey dad. Hey, I just, uh, hi mom. Hey, I just, uh, I was wondering if you wanted to come to Vegas to play the Salute to Warriors tournament. There's been a grassroots campaign to get you into the tournament for veterans, so we just called to break the news to you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm so excited to have you come out here, so we're going to get everything set up, and <laughs> I'm so glad to have you come here during the World Series of Poker. Oh, wow. <laughs> five, five. Hey, this is a happy warrior. I'll be at a happy warrior tournament. <laughs> Martin Cabral, you've been at the center of a lot of controversy this week. Obviously, it hasn't deterred you from continuing to play the World Series of Poker with us here. Uh, have you taken the feedback on board? How, how I take what? Have you taken the feedback from other players on board and, you know, with how you conduct yourself at the table? Uh... Yeah, be honest, yeah? Be honest. They only put the quick right? Yeah, I'm trying to do my best to not be, not be like... Uh, Mm, not be influenced by the situation because it's obviously a tough situation but yeah I try to enjoy my life try to enjoy the poker and that's all I can do right they said a few things about you know maybe how you handle the cards etc are you are you more conscious of that now I am very conscious of that mm -hmm. cool and can I ask you do you think it has died down now for you are you do you feel like it's been handled sufficiently now or are you still going to proceed with uh, the lawsuit I think it's ridiculous what, what the guys the guys did, and uh, that uh, they basically ruined my reputation and life. And uh, I think at least they should like uh, come. I think two days ago and apologize to me and so on. But uh, probably not gonna happen. So yeah, we will see. Don't forget to tune into PokerNews.com for all things World Series of Poker. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a single moment.